So recently I made a video on explaining how the KVM switch works and actually reviewed one from Ugreen, but I haven't gone into much detail to how to set it up. Some of you guys commented out that you wanted to see a video on this and here we go. In this video I will show you how I installed my KVM switch step by step for my dual PC setup including one Windows PC and one MacBook. You can follow the simple steps and set up yours as well. Let's start with the KVM switch that I'm gonna be using today. It's from Ugreen and it's for two PCs and one monitor outputs. This KVM switch or another one should be enough to set everything up, except if you have a PC like a MacBook Pro that has only Type-C ports, then you have to use with a Type-C dongle. So before showing you guys all the cables, how to plug them in and maybe create a cable mask, I create a simple drawing to explain you visually how everything will be plugged in to which port. So this is my KVM switch and I've expanded the ports so that you can see them better and on top we have two sets of inputs from two different computers. Each set would have one HDMI cable and one USB port that is coming out of from your PC and plugs into the KVM switch. If you complete this for two PCs, then you would have to plug your peripherals like mouse, keyboard, maybe microphone, maybe printer, whatever you have that is available via USB port. Then specifically for this KVM switch or maybe other switches are supporting this is an extended button that comes with the KVM switch and I plug this on this control button hub and on the left side you have the HDMI out that goes to your monitor as an input HDMI output. If you have a switch that supports dual monitors or maybe more monitors then you would have extra HDMI inputs and extra HDMI outputs and the mechanics of this illustration will stay the same. So this is my KVM switch and I'm going to show you how to connect all the cables to this KVM switch. And as you can see on the ports, there is mainly the USB ports on the bottom and the side. And on the top, there is connections that goes to your two PCs. And on the other side, there is HDMI output that goes to your monitor. So to make things easy to understand, I color coded the cables. For example, these orange cables are goes to my Windows PC and connects to on top of my KVM switch as you can see on the screen right now. So the next one is color coded with pink cables and this one goes to my MacBook Pro with a Type-C dongle in between. As you can see, we make the connections to KVM switch to the side of the Windows ports. So the green cables on the other hand is the outputs from the KVM switch. For example, this one is the HDMI output that is connected to KVM switch and the other ones are for keyboard and mouse and that's connected to the USB USB ports on the side. Next one is the control switch that comes with my KVM switch and that is connected to the micro USB port on the bottom of the Ugreen KVM switch. And here is the final output with all the inputs from two computers and all the outputs to a monitor and two USB ports that I'm currently using and it's also can be expandable with two other USBs as well. And this is the Type-C dongle that I'm currently using. It's from a brand called Vivo and here is I'm connecting the pink cables to the KVM switch which is the HDMI cable and the USB cable. With all the cables connected to the Type-C dongle I'm connecting this to my MacBook Pro and all the setup is currently done. Here is the KVM switch in action. As you can see, I'm using my mouse and keyboard on my MacBook Pro. And when I click to the KVM switch button, I wait for three seconds to go to the Windows PC. And when the monitor comes on, the, all the peripherals that is connected to the KVM switch, that is mouse and keyboard, are accessible on the Windows PC without plugging anything in. And with that, we successfully installed our KVM switch to our dual PC setup. If you have any further questions, let me know in the comments down below. I also included the links for the KVM switches that I recommend in the description down below. And if you're interested, go check out that. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. See you in the next one.